slowing it down there 75 just about over the numbers we're just going to flatten her out pull the power back all right welcome back to my time to fly today we are out in the mooney again with the family the wife and the two little ladies and we have a mission Today, my mission is to learn how to land this thing a little bit better, and we're gonna practice at altitude. So the things I don't do enough of are practicing the basics. Slow flight, steep turns, stalls, that kind of thing. And I think that's hurt me as I've started to learn to land the plane a little bit. Uh, I critique myself every landing. I have, over the past few landings, I've been coming in high almost constantly and too fast. So my goal is to go up and learn some settings, some manifold pressure settings uh, for this airplane to fly at 75 to 80 miles an hour so that I can really nail the final. We're also gonna spend some time uh, learning what it takes to fly it at 190 for my downwind and base legs. So we'll catch back up with you when we get to altitude. One other small note, and she just found this out a minute ago and told me no, but Mickey's got control of the radios today. It's a slow day at Sparta. It's a slow day uh, around Michigan, it looks to be. So not a whole lot of traffic. She'll do just great. So we'll catch you when we get back up to altitude. Marshall traffic, 6255 Delta turning left base, runway 28 Marshall. All right, so we're up here at altitude. We're at 4,000 feet, just a tick over, and just in a slight cruise configuration right now. A very slow economy cruise kind of thing. 22 inches of manifold pressure, 2300 RPM. We're just, you know, scooting along, 125 knots, 130 knots. I have my landing checklist up, and we'll go through that landing checklist to get the airplane into slow flight. And again, I want to document my settings, which are uh, two notches of flaps and 100 miles an hour, and then three notches of flaps, 90 miles an hour, and four, uh, I say notches, but I mean pumps, um, and then fu full flaps, 80 miles an hour and see what those settings look like. So first, um, we'll go through a checklist. So it says landing light on, we're at 4,000 feet, we will not put the landing light on. Fuel selector's on fullest, which it is, it's on the left tank. Fuel pump, we'll leave that off too. I know I'm skipping some steps here, but there's no reason to have electrical, uh, electric fuel pump on at 4,000 feet. Um, mixture rich, I will enrich in the mixture, not all the way. Uh, I will enrich in the mixture. Carb heat on. We'll pull the carb heat because we're going to pull some power. Uh, and then first thing we got to do is really get this thing slowed down. So we'll pull a little power back now that we've got the carb heat in it. We'll just go to 15 inches. And we'll get the prop full forward. And we'll just let it slow down. Try and maintain 4,000 feet. So there's 125 miles an hour. There's about 120 miles an hour. So now we'll get the gear down. We're in gear speed. Gears in and locked. You can really feel that start to slow you down. So this is what my downwind would feel like. Uh, we'll call this level downwind. 4,000 feet. So we're going to try and maintain. Um, that's 105 miles an hour. We're actually going to put a little bit of a little bit of throttle back in it. So about 105 miles an hour. We are in a slight bit of a descent. 16.7 inches of manifold pressure. So there we go, 17 inches of manifold pressure, 100 miles an hour, got it slowed down, no flaps in right now, pretty well level. So 
So now we're going to imagine that we're transitioning to our descent. We're beam the end of the runway. We're looking for about a 500 foot per minute descent at 100 miles an hour. Okay, so we'll just trade a tick of altitude here for airspeed. Make sure we're below our 100 mile an hour mark. Put two pumps in, and then we'll pull some throttle. So we're going to go down to 14 inches, and we'll trim it for 100, and see what our descent rate looks like. Just waiting for everything to stabilize a little bit. 400 feet a minute at 14 inches. So we'll go to 13.5. All right, so there's just about 500. There's just about 500 feet per minute, 100 miles an hour, at 13 and a half inches of manifold pressure. So we'll call that our first target, 13 and a half inches of manifold pressure. All right, so now we have another notch of flaps in. We're going to trim it back to 90. This is our base leg. We're still going to try and maintain 13 and a half inches. I got to be honest, it feels a little goofy going slow in a Mooney. I don't like it. Uh, why don't you like it? I don't know. I just feel weird. Feel a little unstable. Yeah. But this is what we do when we land. This is the speeds we're running when we land. So just under 90 miles an hour, 500 feet a minute, 13 and a half. So let's get our last notch in. Full flaps. We'll trim it back to 80. This is the one I've really been struggling holding on final. I really keep wanting to come in fast. So we definitely need to lose a little bit of throttle on final because at 13 and a half, we are maintaining altitude at just a tick over 80. Maybe a couple hundred foot per minute descent. So on final, we'll go down to 12 and see what we get. We'll maintain our 80 miles an hour. Got 80 pegged. That's about 300 feet a minute. Maybe gaining just a little bit more at 12. See what 11.5 does. And I know this; these are just ballpark figures because every day is going to be a little bit different. There's 80 and 500 feet, 11 and a half. So it looks like, what was I at before, Mick? 13.5? See how easy you forget this stuff? It's important to write this down and get this in your checklist. Otherwise, it will be forgotten. So uh, this, is, this is why I'm doing this video. One, I love doing the video and the channel and, uh, you know, entertaining, hopefully entertaining you guys um, and learning, right? This is way better than it was before. So I want to make sure that we're learning, but also documenting for myself so I can come back to this and look at it and understand what I'm doing and update my checklist. So 11 and a half, 80 miles an hour. So somewhere in the 11 and a half to 12 range. Looks like that's about it on final. 13 and a half, we'll review the footage, make sure 13 and a half is right. 13 and a half for downwind and base, and that will get real easy. It is a little bumpy. We're just getting over some... Uh, <laughs> getting over the lake and the girls don't like it. So we're going to go ahead and recover this thing and uh, get going again. All right, we're about 15 miles north of the airport, 15 nautical miles north of the airport. Uh, we're going to go land this thing. It's pretty choppy out here today. Uh, so we'll probably just do one landing, call it a full stop, keep the family happy. But we're going to put to test what we just learned. We're going to see uh, if, if they actually make for a more stable approach. That's what I'm looking for, a more stable approach. All right. Fuel selectors on full tank, fuel pumps coming on. Mixture's rich, we'll get our landing lights on. RP's on, we'll get the gear down once we're in. All right, so now's the time. We're really going to put it to use. We're on our uh, we're on our circling turn to enter on a 45 for downwind at 25, and we're getting the plane slowed up and burning our last couple hundred feet. 13.5 and 11.5, if I remember correctly, but maybe I've forgotten already. Okay, Sparta traffic. Who we are? Downwind 25 Sparta. Sparta traffic Mooney 6708 uniform. Downwind, 2-5, Sparta. Perfect.
fire traffic to Scott, 9173 Hotels, clear the active. There's our gear speed, gear's coming down. Thirteen five hundred miles an hour, downwind with the gear down. Okay, the next call will be base. Two five Sparta, base two five Sparta. I'll tell you when. As soon as we start turning. Now. Yep. Sparta traffic, Mooney six seven zero eight uniform, base two five Sparta. Eleven five. Okay, so now we're on final. We're going down to eleven five. We'll get our gumps in. Mickey will make the last call. Sparta traffic, Mooney 6708, uniform, final, 25, Sparta. Gas full as tank, it is. Undercarriage, down and locked. Mixture's rich, props full. We're at 11.5. Still got to get it slowed down. There's 80. We're a little high, so we're going to come in a little bit less than 11.5. We're at 10.8 on final. A little over 80. My girls are screaming in the back. Fair amount of headwind in our face today, so. Maybe that's keeping us afloat a little longer. Pretty stable. 9.7 on final. 9.7 inches, 80. It's just sinking a little bit. Let's just get a little power in. Winds right down the runway. Slowing it down, there's 75, just about over the numbers. We're just gonna flatten her out. Pull the power back. Right on center line. Probably one of the best landings I've had. Last week I just nailed one, but I think it was lucky. That one was because we did the work, we went up, we thought about it, we, we got our mi mind in the right place, and then we made it happen. Uh, that's all you have to do to be successful in flying, in life, in anything else. Put the work in ahead of time. Go plan, practice, try, come back, and kick butt. I really appreciate you all being here on My Time to Fly. Again, we are exploring the real world of general aviation, doing so through my Mooney, my 63 Mooney, and friends and families airplanes that are at, at the airport. So thanks again for being here. It's appreciated more than you can know. If you enjoyed this video or took one thing from it, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't. For now, it's been my time to fly. Uh, go find yours.